And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Zumaka. Now this game actually had me very attractive because I like the, co the, the cover, and I like this spread on the back where it shows, you know, the different cards and different colors. And I'm attracted by colors, and I'm attracted by animals. I'm attracted about opening a zoo. Let's take a look at this game and see how it works out. The game comes with a deck of cards. This cards are, you're going to be going through and playing these cards over the course of the game. You're trying to get sections of animals, three sections, complete sections of animals, and you win. This is an animal here. It's an elephant. This elephant has a red color, but also has symbols here, so you know what type of, what type of animal it is. It's going to take five of these to finish a section. This one here is a horse. It's two different colors, so it can go in either one of those sections. There are entrance cards. Here's a gorilla, a seahorse. There's all sorts of animals that are in this set. And there's all different kinds of cards in here. Now, on your turn, you're going to start with six of these cards. You can play a card from your hand, an animal from your hand. So I might play a sheep here in front of me. Or maybe I'll play uh, a wolverine. Or here I can play another pig into this section. So you have three actions, and you're trying to finish sections. So maybe this chameleon, which is a wild animal, can add to this section. Another thing you can do is you can discard a card and you just simply will get money equal to the value of that card into the bank. Money is just simply going to be placed face down as a pile of cards in front of you. That's your bank. The reason you want to have money in your bank is because if someone plays an entrance card, so this entrance card says force a fee on all opponents for one of your sections with one of these types. Hey look, I have that type, it's completed, so now everyone's going to have a fee. Now everyone is going to need to pay the fee. Now the fee is the total value of all the animals. So this one here has five, so everyone's going to need to pay a fee of five. If this fee was forced on me, I'd say alright, I got three in my bank, great, but I still need to pay two more? Alright, fine, I'll sell the Wolverine. So realize if you don't have enough money to pay a fee, you have to give up animals and things from in front of you. If you don't have anything at that point, then you're fine. There are other cards that will show up. If one of these cards shows up, this is like an event. You just play this and it will stay there till another event takes its place. This gives everyone an extra action on their turn. You can also just play action cards. Look in an opponent's hand and take a card of your choice. If your zoo's empty, draw five cards. All your animal cards go to your zoo. Non-animal cards are discarded and all players lose the money in their banks. There's a lot more cards in the deck than these. There's cards that are defensive and can be played on someone else's turn. That's what the black exclamation point shows there. And you're just going to keep playing until someone completes a third section in their zoo, at which point they win the game. Obviously the colors are the first thing that attracts me to this. I like how nice the cards look. I mean, granted, not a lot of effort went into this because there is zero uh, like these action cards have striped colors on them for no reason at all. There's no art on these and the art here is just a silhouette so that's kind of cool right it has a nice look to it but I was expecting maybe more color and instead I just have a bunch of these cards that are multicolor. It's hard to explain I was attracted by the color but it doesn't really matter in the long run. I hope when I review games that I'm clear as to whether I like them or dislike them. In this instance, I would like to be clear that this is a really bad game. It just is. And it's, it's as if the people who designed it haven't played many other games. I was so disappointed by this one. There's, it is essentially just a big take that game with humongous swings of randomness. First of all, this deck is mostly action cards. What? In a game where you're supposed to be putting down animals and there are tons of action cards. Um, and, you know, draw five cards and discard two. If your bank's empty, draw three cards to your bank. What? Who cares about that? What kind of action card is that? That doesn't even make any sense. If I can discard this card to get two. Or play it if my bank's empty to get three. Why, why not just put three in the card? I have another card that's three. This card is worthless to me. The, 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 you saw the one card, right? Everyone loses all the money in their banks. Woo! 
that's so much fun. It's so much fun when you're building a section and someone then plays a fee on one of their sections and then you don't have enough money and you have to get rid of the animals in your section and then hope that you randomly draw them to put them in their zoo. Random, 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 random! Come on! This is one of those games where you literally could just get a die and roll it to see who wins and I think you would have a better chance strategically with that than you would have in this game. It doesn't feel like building a zoo. It doesn't even feel like set collecting much. You're just drawing a card like, ooh, this is what I need. Ooh, this is one I don't. I guess I'll sell it and get some money. I guess I'll play this negative card in someone else. Ooh, I have a card that blocks their negative card. Ooh, isn't this exciting? Ooh, isn't there another game we can play? Boo to this game. Boo to designs like this because you know, when it comes to this, there's always people like Tom. There are folks who are like casual gamers and they might like this sort of thing. You like strategy games. Yes, I like strategy games. I like fun games. That's the point. And I don't believe this has it inside it. I'm sorry. It, it had potential for me looking at it. I really wanted to like it. But when you sit there on your turn and there's really no choices to be made, you play animals in your zoo, play bad actions on other people, play good actions on yourself, and or sell a card and get some money so that you can protect yourself when someone plays a bad action on you. Whee! Whatever. Dice Tower Judgment. The color's are nice, but that's it.